Um, so that's that's a great question. I had another um, question that kind of popped in my head talking about negative comments. And I wonder, and this is for uh, both the ladies on the panel, um, do you feel uh, there are gender differences on the amount of negative comments on posts? Meaning that, do you feel that there's a higher rate of negative posts on uh, posts by women rather than men? I see more men commenting negatively. Um, I've never really thought about it before, but now that we're discussing it, I do think men comment more in that kind of fashion. I mean, I will say things that I disagree, but you know, the Canadian in me always says, there's always a nice way to say it. That's awesome. Yeah, and there is. Um, and I and I just wonder if it's, you know, maybe just because of the gender differences where... Um, it's an interesting observation. Men having I, kind of more of a dominant sort of, you know, um, persona, if you will, in certain cases where they're saying, well, I'm not going to fear this. I'm just going to go ahead and say what I want. And I don't care. Um, yeah. yeah, but that's the problem. I don't care. Mm -hmm. There always has to be a nice way of stating your opinion, regardless of what it is. This is a professional platform. Manners will never go out of style if I have yeah. anything to say about it. Yeah, yeah. Inga, you've been like, dying to dive in. Please. No, um, I was just going to say that I've never actually thought about it. But mm -hmm. if you think, if you do think about it, there's, there's never a balance across genders, right? No. Mm -hmm. um, and I think uh, women are more prone to being subjected to some uh, behavior like this. Mm -hmm. um, but it's just, honestly, the only way that we can eradicate it is like Aretha Franklin said. R-E-S-P-E-C-T. Mm. Yes. Right, I'm going to bring in yet another book. Can I remember the title of the book? Oh, The Authority Gap. So this is a book called The Authority Gap that looks at gender differences. And by the age of five, you learn in the first few pages, both boys and girls think that boys are more intelligent, even though they are actually and statistically not through primary education but that belief goes on and then there's a story there's two stories i'll quickly relay the first is about a man transitioning to a woman and the second is about a woman transitioning to a man and even when so the man who transitioned to a woman overheard a comment saying oh yeah this guy's sister's work is nowhere near this her brother's because they didn't know that she was the same person. And on the other side, the man who transitioned to a woman, all of a sudden was subject to this immense torrent of abuse, uh, questioning of authority or intelligence or of stature, um, which is terrible. And then there's another story in the book, uh, a writer was really encouraged by her friends to write her novel. She wrote her novel and um, sent it out to 60 publishers, I think, in the story. And she got two rejects and rejections and they were the only two responses that she had. So she changed her first name, just using the initials, think JK Rowling. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, she sent it to 10 just to test it. Eight came back immediately asking for the whole document. And the two that said no gave him constructive advice as to what to do with the manuscript. So the question, Gregory, about gender differences, uh, there's no there's no easy way of being a man in this conversation, mate, because mm. it is our it might, it's not you and me, but it is our it is our gender. It is indeed. Yeah. Wow. Okay. It's very interesting. Yes. All right. Look, I tell you what we're going to do then. Um, uh, Gregory, is there anything you because we've been on for an hour and 
40 minutes yeah. already. Yeah, no, I, I think I think we've been on uh, probably a long time. Yeah. And uh, we'll need to find ways to, you know, cut this up in really meaningful ways for our, our audience and, and make that consumable. But I just, I really, uh, I want to honor Inga and Sharon uh, for being here and joining us today. Uh, it's a pleasure to see you both. It's a pleasure to get to speak with you and, and hear your uh, point of views and opinions and experiences. So I just want to honor you and thank you for your time. Thank you. It was a pleasure to be in your company. And for anything I can do to help you in the future, please reach out to me. It would be my great pleasure. The one thing I'd like you both to do, all yes. of you to do, yes. just take three of these DMs. As I said earlier in the call, Gregory, you haven't got to think about it. Just copy and paste the reams and reams of text. Post it on the at www.socialme2.org. It's completely anonymous, so no one will know it's come from you, uh, mm -hmm. any of you. But mm -hmm. we need to now that we know what the focus is. Next time and I'll communicate actually as soon as I find out the answer. But now we know what the focus is, we mm -hmm. can start to really drive up and the specifically which we're, we're looking to get this many stories because this was how this change happened 